Hey friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is the recording of a paper presented in a two-day national conference on shaping the future of education at 2047 held by the Department of Education and Training, Manu Hyderabad. The sub-theme of the conference was lifelong learning and therefore the paper is entitled YouTube as a tool for le lifelong learning in the digital age. The session was chaired by Professor Ganta Ramesh and Dr. Athar, Associate Professor, has coordinated the session. The content was quickly referred to as a very small time of presentation was available. However, important aspects are covered and may be useful to viewers who are interested in knowing the origin and consolidation of YouTube, lifelong learning and the association of both these concepts. Let us begin with the presentation. The next presenter is uh, Professor Mishra Kumar Kapoor. Uh, he is a screen is not that in shared. No, sir, it is. Oh, next. My screen. You also connected, sir. Yeah, I am sharing. I am sharing. Yes. This is yes. Okay. Yes. Next. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir, Professor, sir, uh, for giving an opportunity to present my uh, paper. Uh, I'm going to talk about YouTube as a tool for learning, uh, lifelong learning in digital age. Uh, here, my agenda is I want to discuss about what is YouTube, what is learning, uh, lifelong learning and the uh, uh, theoretical perspective of lifelong learning that aligns YouTube and discuss about YouTube in lifelong learning. Uh, first of all, YouTube uh, is actually, uh, I have referred to Elina YK as, uh, who says it is a video sharing platform uh, that creates, uh, helps us to create, upload and watch video content online. YouTube analytics help us to know how far we are reaching, what improvements are being made. YouTube is a second, la uh, second uh, largest website which is visited by the users. And development of YouTube platform three uh, uh, actually it's a top online video platform uh, spread in 88 countries, 76 languages as per uh, 2018 data. And more and more people prefer online video rather than television. Uh, children of 8 to 10, uh, 18 to 49 uh, age group, all the people choose video, uh, YouTube. Uh, millennials also use this. Uh, three former employees of PayPal have started this. Homemade videos can be easily shared by the persons. Astronomical speed was there when YouTube grew. Uh, Google acquired YouTube in 2006. There is a history because, uh, behind the YouTube, how it has progressed. And the way people use uh, the YouTube uh, is because of convenience, cost, uh, uh, the, uh, people can avoid commercials, uh, movie selection is easy, original content can be seen, uh, subtitles for television uh, services available here in the YouTube. Documentaries can be seen. Uh, reasons why YouTube is more attractive for young people is it is a hybrid form for uh, television. Duration of uh, video program is of different duration. Watch time. Uh, watch. Uh, yeah, we can watch our favorite television show. Have formal and non-formal uh, programs. Lifelong planning. Actually, lifelong learning is acquiring skills throughout to survive. Day to day activities, whatever uh, challenges we face, we learn through lifelong learning. Lifelong learning is a basic uh, human uh, right. Uh, it is betterment of uh, employment prospectus. Uh, we hear social benefits occur through lifelong learning, productivity, gross domestic product, social capital, health, uh, enhances of the country as well. Uh, poverty elevation can be done through lifelong learning. Uh, lifelong learning, uh, uh, lifelong learning skills require self-management competencies like a homemaker uh, learns time management. 
learning to learn competencies like a teacher learns micro teaching skills initiatives and entrepreneurship uh, competencies are developed for example teacher creates youtube channel and earns money digital competencies happen for example parents learn smartphone operation and get connected to teachers making decision competency for example take decision on targets like a home maker budgets for the entire month theoretic perspective of life uh, youtube is use of youtube for lifelong learning is uh, here social learning theory is uh, behind use of youtube cognitive processes are taking place in a social context purely through observation cognitive processes are developed by youtube youtube helps us to have a social context where ideas can be shared and uh, the, the people observe and learn a uh, motor reproduction is uh, not as uh, not at all essential here how far uh, youtube can be used this is the last slide sir and we can uh, scope of uh, youtube gender wise it covers all gender people can be using uh, age wise it covers all the ages societies all the societies all religions languages all languages not a bar geography is not a bar format the uh, youtube programs have got different formats like our listed le uh, lecture demonstration experiment uh, content educational entertainment politics social uh, etc content can be covered levels all levels primary secondary tertiary level content will be available subjects all academic discipline content is available so i see a lot of scope in utilization of youtube for lifelong learning finally i conclude uh, my presentation by saying that youtube has the potential to be a valuable resource in supporting the implementation of various suggestions outlined in nep 2020 and takes us to the destination of vixit bharat uh, so uh, because of paucity of time i have uh, skipped to make uh, much of the content thank you for the opportunity sir.